Good morning. We are going to start section 1.3, more functions in the graphs. Specifically, we are going to simplify a difference quotient. We're going to try to understand piecewise functions just a little bit better. Identify the intervals on which a function increases, decreases, or consi uh, is constant. Use graphs to locate the maximum and minimum. That, these are all pretty easy right in here. Uh, this is going to get a little more difficult. We'll do that in a separate uh, video, I think. Um, identify even and odd functions. We are not going to do any with uh, step functions. I think we're just going to keep that simple. So, uh, by definition, a difference quotient um, is the expression here for h not equal 0 called a difference quotient. Now, what's interesting is this particular difference difference quotient, um, or the difference quotient in general, is derived from something you're familiar with, something called the slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And what's interesting is h can't go to 0, but x2 minus x1 becomes some number, some constant, um, which is interesting. So we're, we're plugging things into the numerator and then going to simplify. Um, this is important at the end of the semester, but a lot of this is just substitution and working with functions. All right, so today we're going to start with A, okay? And for part A, they're just asking us to substitute this into that function. So... Um, if, I, if that were f of 5, I'd plug 5 in for x. This is x plus h, so we're going to go negative 2x plus h squared plus x plus h plus 5. This is equal to negative 2, equal, equal, right? Negative 2x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus x plus h plus 5. And again, all I'm doing is, is multiplying. Um, you might want to use the box method or some other method. Negative 2x squared And then we don't need parentheses here, plus x plus h plus 5. Uh, and what we'd like to do is we'd like to determine whether or not we can eliminate any of these. Um, for instance, the um, – or simplify any of these, right? The x squared – actually, that's, that's it. There's nothing we can do to simplify that. All right, so – Let's take a look at B. This is going to be a little bit more exciting. Um, and again, remember, we are substituting this in for x and x. And then I'm going to do that again in for x and x. So here we go. Um, this becomes negative 2 x plus h squared plus x plus plus h, this is what I'm substituting in, plus 5. That takes care of that whole thing there. Now I've got to take care of the minus f of x. When you plug in x for x, it becomes the same thing. 2x squared plus x plus 5 all over h. And now i got to simplify this mess. And I don't think I need to keep the video going, so I'm going to pause it and do the, the algebra. So now I need to simplify things. And keep in mind, you guys, all I did is I, I multiplied that out, right? And we did that up here. That's the same same answer. I dropped the parentheses here. Um, I distributed the negative sign here. Um, so now, and then distributed the negative 2. So now I want to collect like terms or at least cancel things if I can. That's going to go away, right? Negative 5 and 5. This plus x minus x goes away. Um, the plus 2x 
squared should go away. I missed the squared there, right? So that plus, that minus goes away. And that's going to leave me with um, one, two, three terms all over h. So here we go. Equals negative 4xh uh, minus 2h squared plus h all over h. And again, you can factor out the h, right? So it'll cancel. So 4x uh, minus 2h plus 1 all over h. And now you can see that the h is there are going to cancel. And what's left from that? Simply negative 4x minus 2h plus 1. Now, again, I'll post the notes so you can sort of walk through this again yourself. This is um, the difference quotient. And yeah, this is, this is tough. It's going to take some focus, some thought, but you can do it. All right. Uh, increasing and decreasing, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, except for the fact that you understand that when we are moving from left to right, that we are increasing here. From left to right, we are decreasing. From left to right, we are constant. That's a pretty simple uh, concept, which I think you'll get figured out. Um, the um, minimum and maximum, um, relative minimum and maximum. That relative business is, is important because there might be more than one. There's a minimum, there's a minimum. There's a maximum, there's a So you're locating where the X values are for your relative minimum and maximum. Remember, X value. Okay. You might ask, this is, this is where, uh, let's try to write that so you can read it, where it's the X values. When they say what, that would be a Y value. That's you know, how high or how low these are. And that, that's, that's important. Those are easily confused. All right. Um, good luck on homework.